Hey friends, Catherine here. I am going to be painting a rock today. I've put a base coat of purple down on it um, and I want to paint an ice cream cone for the summer. So I'm going to be doing it with four colors. I am going to be using the Apple Barrel Light Mocha. I'm going to be using the Folk Art Minted Aqua. I will be using the Apple Barrel Jet Black and the uh, Deco Art White. Uh, let's put some colors out and see how it goes. All right. I've got my light mocha, my white, my black, and my minted aqua. And I want to do... As you can probably tell from the minted aqua, I want to do a green ice cream. Now, green ice cream doesn't sound actually all that appealing when you think about it itself, but honestly, I don't think I've ever met a green ice cream that I didn't like. Uh, there's mint chocolate chip, which is what we'll be doing today. There's pistachio. There's uh, wasabi ice cream all of which are delicious, by the way. They all just sound really, really good. I don't think I've ever met a green ice cream that wasn't good. Which is something interesting, because when you think of ice cream, you don't think green. But there are tons of flavors that lots of people don't like, coming in all sorts of different colors, mostly variations of white and brown. Um, but green, at least for me, isn't one of them. Um, there we are. So we've got a light mocha triangle painted onto our stone. Um, let's grab a little bit of white and mix it into just a little bit of that light mocha to lighten it up even further go. I think a little bit more white. Get a nice, nice pale color. Something that's appreciably different from the light mocha. So that we can tell it, see it in contrast. And then just lightly put stripes down the cone in our lighter color. There we are. And then put stripes going the opposite direction because it's a waffle cone. Go. Are. Okay, so we've got our cone done. Now let's rinse out our brush. And pat it dry. There we go. Or dry-ish. And then grab our minted aqua and do a ball of ice cream on top of the cone. Just something sort of round. And sort of ice cream shaped. And you've probably had ice cream before so you know when you scoop it up with a traditional scoop, most people can usually form something approaching a ball of ice cream that they can plop on top of a cone. Go, and then let's do the scoop marks at the bottom there, where the little bit of ice cream escaped where it was being scooped up, or as it was being scooped up, as the case may be. 
and then put a little bit more green on here in the places where the purple is showing through because we really would rather not have it showing purple through. There we go. And then very similarly to what we did with the white and the light mocha, now we're going to take a bit of black and mix it into our minted aqua to get something darker. Go so that we can use that to put shadows into our ice cream. We don't want it too dark. We don't really want it gray. But if gray is what we have to do, then gray is what we have to do. Go something sort of like that. That black goes a long way. But something sort of like that. And then let's flatten back out our brush and pick back up a little bit of that darker color and just go in underneath the scoop marks and put just a little bit underneath in there just on the bottom edges so that it gives it a bit of shadow and then also around the bottom edge of the ball of the ice cream so that it also gives it a bit of shadow there. So creeping up the side maybe a little bit just so that it's rounded and sort of cupping around the ice cream. There we go. That's something turning out pretty nice but we want mint chocolate chip which means we're not quite done yet. We need to pick up some black again for our chocolate chips and drop some chocolate chips into it. Maybe one right out at the edge here. Like that. We'll make it nice and chocolatey. Oop, need a little bit more black for that one. Go. That one can be smaller, that way it can be sort of buried into the ice cream. Actually, I like that idea. Let's do a couple of those smaller ones. There we go. And that is how to paint some ice cream on a rock. If you like this video, definitely let me know. I am always trying something new. I put up new videos every day. I was glad to see you today, and I will see you another day. Oh, remember to subscribe. Bye. <laughs>